Back in 2004, my manager went on a postural care awareness training and she came back and said, this is it, this is what we're going to do in Wakefield. Up until that point, services had been sadly lacking and we certainly didn't have any money for equipment. So we put together a business case and it went on from there, really. The type of service we really wanted as commissioners was uh, an early intervention service focusing on prevention rather than uh, treatment or rehabilitation. So they want to get in early to prevent those issues occurring. There's no point at all when you're working with families and trying to impose things on a family. They've got to understand what it's all about and appreciate the need for it themselves. And I think particularly when, take dislocated hips for, for instance, there were a lot of children out there with some really complex deformity and postural distortion and lots of dislocated hips. And we really knew that we had to do something. And that's where the postural care came in and the nighttime positioning. Now we've got a really good established postural care pathway. Children are referred into the service and then they have the baseline measurements of postural symmetry taken. And if it looks like there's going to be a problem or they might be at risk, then all the equipment is put in place for them. We follow up with the measurements at least yearly. We ensure that the hip x-rays are taken. We work with the orthopaedic consultants in the, in the paediatric orthopaedic clinics. And the parents always know who to come to. And with the training that we give them, it gives them more of an awareness when things maybe aren't going quite as well as they want them to. And this is the new advanced measuring instrument that we're using now and there. With the, this one, we can do reliable and validated results. Wait for District Children's Services have got a long history of working together across services and across agencies as well, uh, which really means that we can have a team around the child approach. OT and physiotherapy work very closely together uh, so that both services can take on post postural care management. But we also work with education, uh, with social care, with respite services. We have been very lucky to have some interested consultants, uh, um, and one particular orthopaedic consultant who's been very interested in developing the postural care management. I'm currently running an advanced training course for OTs and physios across all three of our main hospital sites so they can have the children in do the measurements for body symmetry and look at doing all the equipment that they need in a one-stop shop. The cost benefits are significant because you are preventing surgical interventions for things like dislocations and scoliosis. You're also preventing uh, the need for outpatient consultant appointments. Pain management is better, so you've got medication savings there as well. The benefit to children and families, of course, is the quality of life. Uh, and that's in terms of maintaining their independence for longer that has a huge impact on, on both the children and the families. The evidence suggests it's working really, really well. We've got one young man who's 19 who'll be leaving our service in July. And other than that, there is not one child in the whole of the Wakefield complex needs um, field that has a dislocated hip, and that's just phenomenal. It's just unheard of, really. It's definitely working. Therapy services do look like a soft target, uh, particularly at the moment in the... Uh, Austere times we're finding ourselves, people are looking for, for easy things to cut. And it's very difficult to show, actually, what you've prevented happening. But uh, the research does show that uh, postural care management reduces the need for consultant input, can reduce or delay the need for surgical input. So you, you are saving money. And I think we do need to look di at differently. Uh, if we want to achieve our cost savings, we need to look at a new way of delivering services. Families, professionals, everybody's got to work together to provide this 24-hour postural care, give families control of it, make it work, it does work.